Good morning. Thank you very much um, for being here this morning, the day after carnival celebrations ended. So it's really good to see everybody looking so bright and, and alive, especially Mr. Jabatis. Um, so, <laughs> so thank you very much for, for being here. I'm actually quite delighted and I want to recognize the, the Prime Minister and Minister of Finance to recognize the Senior Minister and recognize the Attorney General. Um, and of course, Mr. Todorov from the TTS Resorts and Sir Duane Jabati's um, legal counsel for TTS Resorts. Today is a very significant day for us. Um, it represents the, the signing ceremony for the construction of the Grand Hyatt Resort, which will be built in Strozel. It's a project which has been for a very long time on the landscape of St. Lucia. Actual first intent for construction started in early 2016. And of course, the hotel has undergone its own challenges and revisions and change of developer. And of course, in 20, July 2021, with the change of government, um, we engaged the developers with a view to bring in finality to the discussions on the construction of the resort and for us to be able to establish a very clear pathway to ensure that the resort is built and brings the benefits that we expect it to bring to St. Lucia and the South in particular. We commenced discussion with the, the developers and shared our thoughts with them on how some of the outstanding issues that exist can be resolved and to make way for us to, to move forward. There were issues with the construction of the bypass road. Um, at that, in the last engagement, the suggestion was that the government of St. Lucia would have paid for the construction of the bypass road. In renegotiating the arrangements, the developers have agreed that they will provide the financing for the construction of the bypass road, and we are deeply grateful to them for, for that um, acceptance. Of course, you would recognize the tremendous financial difficulties that we face at this time, so it's a major concession on their part and showed their commitment to St. Lucia as a destination and the willingness to work with us. There were outstanding issues with the rental rates for the Queen's chain, and we were able to, to again come to an agreement where I believe both parties benefit from the arrangement that uh, the arrangement that are put in place. We had extensive discussions on our plans for community tourism and how the resort can better link with the community of Strozel, which as we all know has tremendous potential for community tourism. And I think in speaking to the developers, they were super excited by how they can work with us to enhance Strozel as a community tourism destination and in fact they have shared ideas with us and they have indicated to us they're fully prepared to sit with us to share even more ideas as to how we can develop the community tourism experience in Srozel. For me what, what was probably most exciting was when we had discussions with the Hyatt Corporation discussing the proposed project. We, we met them at Chris in Miami, um, the Caribbean Hotel and Resort um, summit and they indicated to us that they were really looking forward to the construction of the Grand Hyatt and it is going to be the flagship resort for the hosting of conferences and events um, in this part of the, the region. Um, as you know, MICE is a significant part of the tourism market and they, they see the Grand Hyatt and they were really excited by the design and what has been proposed for, for Srozel. So we are equally um, excited and we certainly told them that the government was given full support to make sure the project goes ahead. Um, we also had discussions with the developer as to the design of the hotel to make sure that the, de the design of the hotel is reflective of the personality of St. Lucia and the personality of Srozel. And I was able to, to see some of the latest um, designs and it would be really, really fantastic when the resort opens and it shows in its full glory um, how it is laid out and, and the, 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 the decor and the designs would really be a, a plus for the community in which it is, it is built. So I think we've had some really good discussions with the developer and we prepare to move forward. But of most critical importance for us is the engagement with the local community. 
we all know about the sensitivities of the use of, of our beachfront now. We need to find the right balance between you know, preservation and conservation as well as utilization for, for the development of our country. Um, we know historically there have been issues um, with various interest groups and we have resolved that we are going to ensure that there is a proper engagement. The developer has agreed to do a social impact assessment, which I think is going to commence very shortly, where there will be engagement with the local community and to get from them what their views are as to how this hotel can impact them. In the contract that will be signed today, the Prime Minister insisted that we include a commitment for public education and engagement with the local community to talk about the result um, with the community and to let them know how they can benefit and how it can impact them. And, and that's really critical. We cannot be, you know, building hotels and resorts and leave the communities out of it. We have to show the communities how they can benefit from it. So at the end of the day, I think we're very happy with the agreement that we're going to sign today. And I want to personally, as Minister of Tourism and also for investment, thank the developers for their willingness and their accommodation of our numerous requests and I'm certainly happy that we can sign today and formally start the process of, you know, the execution of the, the, the project. So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Todorov, and of course, Prime Minister, for ensuring that we can reach where we are today. So thank you very much. Ministers, it's an honor to be here today uh, and a great pleasure to be back in St. Lucia. Uh, it's a pleasure for me each time when I come uh, uh, to your beautiful country. Uh, thank you for all, uh, thank you all for being here on the uh, day immediately uh, following the carnival. It's an amazing event, and uh, please accept my congratulations to all the government that you managed to do it after uh, two years of, of COVID and uh, the restrictions that uh, all the societies uh, have gone through. Uh, it was great to see the people back in the streets and the people enjoying themselves uh, tremendously. Uh, I saw it briefly. I'm uh, very sorry uh, about it. I should plan better the next time. Uh, the only thing that, I'm, uh, that, that, that has been in my mind uh, ever since yesterday is uh, how to try to expand this event uh, and, and bring it down south, uh, especially after the resort uh, hopefully is going to be complete uh, in a couple of years' time. Uh, this was uh, a, a great process that we went through uh, together with, uh, uh, with Dr. Hiller and, and his, uh, his ministry and I appreciate your support all through it. Uh, I'm very happy that we finally managed to find a good compromise uh, uh, on how to proceed. Uh, it is uh, our policy as a company. Uh, it has always been. We do the same things everywhere we work. Uh, uh, we are grateful to the community. Uh, where we have our properties because it is actually the community that has let us uh, do business. Uh, so uh, we always insist on uh, working together and uh, it has always been our policy of trying to give back to the community uh, for, for the support that uh, we will need because regardless, I mean, uh, a hotel uh, is a living organism, uh, uh, hospitality is something that, uh, that needs the people uh, around uh, uh, the, the resort uh, to be supportive in order to provide uh, the best of the quality for the, for the client. We are very excited about this project. We have been ever since we started it a couple of years ago, uh, becoming the new uh, developer of the project. As uh, Dr. Hiller rightly put it, uh, it has, uh, the project has undergone some changes. It, uh, there was a change of developer. There was also a change of, develop of, of the management company. Uh, I think that Hyatt is a good choice especially nowadays with the development of the management company going uh, uh, more into leisure and uh, uh, their stress, the stress they put on, uh, on the Caribbean uh, as a destination worldwide. We have the full support of, of Hyatt International in this respect, uh, uh, so uh, I'm sure that uh, once we get to the uh, past the, the signing of the agreements, but to the uh, more concrete work, uh, we will be able to, to welcome uh, uh, dignitaries from, uh, from Hyatt as well. Uh, uh, to the island so that uh, they can uh, they can prove uh, their commitment to the success of the of the resort. I'm very excited about the mice and I'm quite happy that uh, we have the support of the government in this respect. Uh, this is going to be a change uh, for the image of St. Lucia so uh, now you boast and rightfully so of being the most romantic destination in the world. I certainly hope that uh, very soon uh, St. Lucia will become a preferred destination for uh, meetings and incentives and uh, uh, this is bringing a new crowd uh, uh, to the island 
I'm certain that uh, it's going to, to, to be the benefit to be to the benefit of the country itself. So uh, I'm grateful for our cooperation so far. Uh, we will need your support as a government, as a country, further on in in our endeavors. Uh, we cannot do it without you. So I hope that uh, uh, we will be able to prosper together. Good morning, Senior Minister, Minister for Tourism, Deputy Prime Minister, Attorney General, Council. Um, I, when I became Prime Minister and the Minister of Investment, I said to him that I'm not going to sign or proclaim any investment until I'm sure it's going to happen. <laughs> so um, it took me, it took quite a bit of convincing for me to be here this morning because I wanted to be sure that everything was in place and a few years later, I will not be accused of signing things that did not happen. But I met you, and I, I've been speaking to you, I'm speaking to you, and I'm convinced, and I'm very happy, and pleased to, to, to sign the agreement, because I am convinced that something's gonna happen. It's gonna happen basically for our industry, our tourism industry, and I want to um, thank the minister for being very cautious in what he, he agreed to. Um, because basically the philosophical position of the government is that the benefits of tourism must accrue to as many people as possible. And that has found itself into what we call village tourism. And to start in, in Shurzel, or, or to continue that process in Shurzel, is, is, is very significant. Shurzel is rich in culture. It is our, it's basically the, a place where there is quite a lot of handicraft and craft very talented people in Shurzel. And to start, at, start such a hotel in Shurzel, and to add the, the nice, the mice, which is meetings and incentives, so there, there's going to be a good fusion mm. between Shurzel and, and what's there. So I'm very happy with that. I'm also convinced, speaking to you, that we actually will start next year. And starting next year is important and ending, as you said, by the end of 2024, 2025. The, the people of Shurzel will be very happy for that. There is, you, you know, we are in very trying times. Mm. And then I'm very happy that this is, is, is the third investment, the food investment in the industry that we are signing on. Two have actually started, and yours is going to start next year. And I've tasked the minister to bring at least three more. Um, so his, his job is, is, is very... His demanding. job is very demanding, yeah, and I, and I always want to look more from him. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank you for showing the confidence in, in St. Lucia. You will be allowed free reign to run your business. All what the government will do is the government will ensure that the people of St. Lucia are not disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. But you, because we want an investment, we want an, the investor to have a fair return, we want a worker to get a fair wage, and we want the country to benefit. That, that is all we ask for. We ask for nothing more. So I look forward to, to the, the real opening of, of the resort. And you said it should happen in 2024, 25. We're looking forward to that. And any, any support that you need, we know you have to do some, some road work. That's why the Minister of Infrastructure is there, the senior minister, to ensure that he, he knows what's happening and we can work together. We will have an approach where we will work together to make it happen. Um, St. Lucia will be pleased because investment is back. Um, we, we began to see that some, some investment happened. As I said, this is the third project. Um, t um, two have started, and this one we've signed in stages. And um, I'm told that a few more should be happening. So we're very happy. The country needs investment. We, we have an unemployment situation where um, <clears throat> St. Lucia have many talented young people who, who need to work. And so, and the only way we, f we see, the main way is through the private sector. And we will create the necessary incentives, the necessary environment, for you to operate your business, free from interference, but all we need is fairness and equity. So I thank you very much and look forward to 